iron hole. Okay, so here we come into the final. As you can see, we've got um, Australia, France, and the U.S., even though the U.S. really sucked on that last race. Uh, still enough points to get into this final. So um, USA and France uh, battling it here. Uh, France, the leeward boat. Um, Australia coming in high, and now they're starting to dip. That's a good move. So the question is, is France... Is Billy going to box Jimmy out? He's trying to, um, but no, Jimmy sees that, uh, dives down, gets his speed. He's up to 43. Great start. Well, did he get a penalty? Perfect starting for Jimmy Spithill and Team USA. Looks clean. Look to have the momentum, but They're studying it. The Look in the uh, umpire view. Oh, they're studying it. Are they going to call it? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It's clean. Oh, that's incredible. Let's roll that back. Um... So you saw the uh, umpire um, really studying that start, and it looks like Jimmy just freaking nailed it. The fastest in the French okay, the best so here we come. The Australia diving. No lands, no Here's the USA. The Australians are taking a big dive. Watch the umpire view. And here we go. Five seconds to go before the line goes white. Did they hit it right? So, yeah, I mean, you know, you don't see the line. I don't see the line doing anything in the um, umpire view in terms of turning red or not. But as you see, he just rolled it back to zero. And there is the hole uh, on that line. That, you just do not get more perfect than that start. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so let's go back to the race. Oh my goodness. What a start by Spittle. Now, even so, you know, as we can see, Australia... Well, let's get back. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, Australia, while um, Spittle was doing that incredible start, had enough room further down the line uh, to make a clean getaway. So let's roll it back and then we'll watch it from the start and uh, keep going. But yeah, man, you just, you don't get better than that. So, okay, so as we see here, Spittle gets the jump. But um, you can see there that Australia has more speed. So we've got about 16 kilometers an hour of wind. It's just a drag race. You see um, Spittle really kind of looking over at Australia. Australia's got the line. So they're going to hit that circle, that, that marked zone first. They get it. Um, Jimmy's going to have to keep clear. So there you go. Australia really up front. Looking great here. So this goes back to what we talked about in the last race where, you know, again, Spittle, the U.S., they're just so talented. Um, but they are not. There you go. Oh, that's Australia. Oh, man, he said, watch the runners and shouted no. Oh, he's got no runners. That means the lift of the runners. There you go. So um, Australia down. USA pulls into the front. So really bad move by Australia. And France is overtaking them as well. Oh. So there you go. What I was talking about was, you know, Jimmy being inconsistent. But well, we've talked about the same thing with uh, Australia and Slingsby. 
and there's the perfect example of it um, in an absolutely commanding lead perfect start exactly where they needed to be um, but they just can't keep it going so watch this we go around he said I've lost my rudders I've lost my rudders you can see his hand yeah. twisting the wheel shakes in his hand and you can hear his frustration and look at the disappointment on the trimmer Nick Hutton's face he says I've got no rudders he mentioned the rudders were a little bit sticky at the end of race one and has he just paid for it in the final this is the view on board the French boat looking at the same incident so no it, to me that one, didn't look like an on issue so it's all about of the rudders the being sticky it, to me, it looked like he missed the, the grip. The so coming back to this replay, watch so Slingsby's hands in this turn. He so said, he's setting it up. I've lost my you he can turns, see his he misses twisting. the grip. The wheel shakes in his hand, and you can hear his frustration and yep. look at the disappointment on the trimmer. Nick so Cone's that was on him. No he, uh, he, mentioned the he just missed that flight grip on his wheel and just lost it. French boat looking at the same incident. Going round Mark 1, it's bearing away onto the downwind, so it's all about the jibe that's coming up now as we go back to the line. So there you go. The um, Australia from first to third in a heartbeat. Uh, this is why these races are exciting. This is why Sail GP is just at the top of the heat when it comes to racing. Look at that. Absolutely incredible boat. Okay, so um, coming around here, uh, Jimmy really took advantage. Um, so did uh, Billy. So we've got Got USA and France one and two, and uh, Slingsby. Um, I'm sure a little bit disappointed in his performance. Um, so, so we'll see here. Exactly, we've got three boats here that have all been in a podium race so I'm curious. So far in season two. Not one We've got full crews here, so what was happening? I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause this for one more second. Let's go back and watch that replay once more. What was happening with the flight controller? I forget who's on, um, on the controls here, but let's watch. So... I think he goes to the other side of the boat, and it's all in Slingsby's hands. So watch this. So here we go. Flight controllers on. We start the turn. There we go. Flight controller goes to trim. There you go. So this was totally on Slingsby. Um, there you go. Okay, so let's catch back up, continue the race. So here we are again. Um, you see Slingsby keeping his hands away from the grip twist um, and letting someone else fly the boat. Um, tail between his legs. Um, USA still has a commanding lead. So are they going to be able to hold it? We, we still have good wind, 17 kilometers an hour, no penalties. Um, this is interesting. We don't see ride time for USA. I wonder if we have it for any of the other teams. We do. That's 92% for Australia, 91. Uh, let's see if we have it in this view. Yeah, we're not getting that telemetry off of uh, the U.S. 99% for um, France. So, you know, France is doing a great job keeping the boat on the foils. They're just not is fast and not putting the boat in the right place like uh, these other teams that are leading. So here we go back to U.S. rule. Okay, let's pause that. Let's get on board USA and see what happened there. They're going to recover. It's not a deal killer. But um, let's look at this. And I think that's uh, France and Australia. Uh, coming up to a cross in the Empire view. The French, or do you cover the Australians? You can only cover okay, it's looking clean to this point. Man, it looked like they either hit something or something just let go on the boat. Let's watch that again. You know, 
the roll looks good, pitch looks good. Within you know two degrees, watch them here. Cover one side of the course. When I say cover, you're going to try and keep your. Whoa! There's a wobble. Oh my goodness! What's happened there? Let's listen on board. Pretty calm. Campbell James says speed build for attack. And there's another rudder conversation there. That one side of the course. When I say that means they should be a bit of a game. So you see the fish tail here. This is really interesting now for me, Matthew. What do American Spithill do as we go on board with Spithill here? Do you cover the French or do you cover the Australians? You can only cover one side of the course. When I say cover, okay, well, let's go back to the. Yeah, there it is again. Oh my goodness, what's happened there? So it looks like. Let's listen on board. Let's go back one more time. Go to the world feed and see if we can see, you know, if a rudder lets go. Um, it kind of looks like it. You see, you see the boat fishtail, so it's fully loaded. And, you know, does that, does that rudder let go on the U.S. boat? Be a bit of a gain for the French All team. right, so Australia. watch the U.S. here. This is really interesting now for me, Matthew. What do Americans Should get a good shot. Go here? Do you cover the French or do you cover the Australians? You can only here we go. Cover watch those rudders. When I say cover, you're going to try and keep your... Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. That looked like they just dove that um, starboard rudder. Campbell James says speed build for attack. And there's another rudder conversation there. That was the voice of Ron Kirby. The rudders are misbehaving today. Got and what it. We see by the French popping out behind. It's the Australians and the French are engaged. Okay, so then we the we've seen rudder issues both on uh, the U.S. boat and the Australia boat, and I think this is important because. We've seen technical problems, a lot of them actually, with Australia, um, it seems. And we've also seen issues in the past couple of races uh, on the U.S. boat. So, um, so yeah, they're you know they're not they're not devastating, um, which shows the talent of these teams recovering and staying in the race. But you have to wonder, you know, I'm sure Sail GP hears from these guys when they come in because you know if you're expecting good, tight, competitive racing, and Sail GP is giving you a boat. Um, that, you know, has technical problems. Another bad turn from the U.S. Down in the water. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. So there you go. Um, another rudder issue. That was clearly a problem on U.S. They're dead in the water. They go from first to third in a heartbeat, trying to get back up on the foils. Wow, this final is all on, isn't it? So the USA goes from first to third. Let's run that back and watch what happens on the USA boat. So let's get on US. Let's get on board US here. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so US is looking good coming in here. And the Americans coming in from and the right, and um, the right hand side has paid dividends. You can see they're, they're in first, they're about to take this right turn. So, what Only happens the Australians here? Might get Switch the, the uh, wing, the Americans have got drop the foil, as Jimmy coming around, the boat up into attack to face the and we go high. But it's the French that have wound up in pressure, it's the French that are on starboard, it's the French that should own this mark. That looks like that was Kirby. Terrible tag by the American team there. Again, Run it back one more time. So we see um, Spittle run across. So this is handed over now to Kirby, I believe, as a flight controller. As Jimmy Spithill winds the boat up into attack to face the Australians, but it's the French that have wound up in pressure. So again, I, I don't know, you know, who's controlling the rudder, if it's split between uh, Rome and Jimmy or not. But um, you can see as, immediate, as Jimmy left the wheel, uh, it immediately, um, you know, threw the bows up and had a dive and the wow, U.S. is just toast at this point. So let's go back to world feed, continue the race. Um, but again, we're seeing um, issues with the boat. 
all weekend long, and Australia back in the mix after that early issue. Three boat finals is where it's at. I just don't know where to look. This race is alive as they sprint downwind. Okay, yeah, I think that was Freddie, and he is absolutely right. The three boat final is a game changer. This is the way the finals should be because you you know we've had lead changes over Austra all three have been in the lead all three have been leading this race um, and it's still close racing so really exciting um, you know three boat final here um, is France going to be able to hold on you know we'll have to see here they're coming into the next mark doing 50 kilometers an hour Hour, we've got 18 k of yeah, wind just keep the call french he's they help them through this mate let's get back on follow the leader so yeah they're at 51 52. tight crossing here as australia will have to go behind the french and look at the speed the aussies are carrying right now upwards of 55 kilometers an hour so they're going to come back they together here. We're going to have a Simo jive as Australia and France come back Here we together. go. Are they going to keep this clean? Right yes. Beautiful maneuver. Up on the foils the whole time. The nice here stable boat. But, you know, Billy's holding this. So, so can he make this run to the next mark? And uh, hold on to what they've got wins. here. They're over 100 meters off the back of these two. This is the race for the win oh, in Plymouth. Man, that's beautiful. Oh man, they go around the Lewis marks together onto the final. Okay, so here we go. Australia and France. Australia has taken the lead. The best breeze is on here, man. And Spittle's still in it. Let's get those head to heads up. So there you go. Um, this is brilliant commentator. Which yeah, this is exactly picture, right. Yeah, it's, this better. is well, exciting it's racing. Really wide course, so Australia so all the way from the back, that so horrible maneuver. Really Let's watch what they do here. Beautiful turn. So, so yeah, holding on um, through that bad maneuver. They've caught back up to France, overtaken France. And again, I think, you know, this is emblematic of France. Um, they are always right there in it, but they just can't hold it. They don't seem to have the speed. They don't seem to put the boat in the right um, position to win. They always fall back. Um, so the question is, you know, can they hold off uh, the U.S. coming up on a port starboard? This is a pretty easy run through here. Oh man, that's beautiful. 20 meters. He couldn't attack there. No way. He was too close. If he'd attacked, the French would have rolled over the top of him or underneath him. He would have given up the lead. All right. So we have uh, France splitting the course. Um, Australia and U.S. And it looks like the U.S. is going to overtake see France the in this next tack here, so we'll have to see. Local boy Nick Hutton there popped up before the tank, sailing in the waters where he learned to sail. What a win this would be for him. He's the Australian wild card. It's a battle There's of the, uh, Four Australians on board that boat, one Brit. He'd be the happiest Brit in sailing. All right, they were. I was wondering if they were going to have the same problem we saw a few races ago uh, with the wake. Uh, that Spain the had. Yes, it says it's a 21 meter lead to the Australians. This will close down oh, as they man, come back together. Oh man, look how close this is. 23 French meters. Delay, that left hand gate, that is a big question too as they get towards the top. Slingsby says I've got us not crossing. That means the French should be ahead as we come back. It's now about whether the French are laying the windward gate. All right, so this Australia is on moments. port, France on starboard. It looks to me like Australia's got it, but this is going to be super tight. But they're both laying the windward marks. Australia are going to get their two or three oh, seconds. Look at this. Before the French, and it's about how they manage Incredible. the better ways. Lots of pressure on the Super flight tight race here. So, um, here we come. I think we're coming up to the next to last mark to then run into the finish. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last downwind leg before the reach. The finish is all on between these two teams. So one more leg to go and about three minutes of racing. Can the Americans come back? Will the Australians or the French take Man, a this hold is good of this stuff. race, or will someone make a high-pressure mistake? 
That's it. Oh, High pressure mistakes. This is this is what Sail GP is about. How far to okay, go let's see. Are we keeping? The Australians jibe. That was it a beautiful job. Looked clean. They on the looked floor very clean. So France and Australia risk. still running the, here. The pressure goes over onto the French. The French have got to be the next boat to jibe. If you fall off the foils, okay. you is lose. Is Billy going to pull a good it's maneuver all about here? Crew work on the final downwind. Keep the boat in the air. Keep the boat ripping. Speed looks good. Really key cross coming up. Roll now. pitch. Really all that looks good. Right height. They stayed up. So yeah, that was a good maneuver by Billy. Even so. Um, that just let Australia nudge out front. So you can see there we now have 30 meters. It's into this gate and then a quick blast to the finish line. This could be for the win right here. So here's the question. Can, here we go, can Sleesby jive on top of them and hold it? 50, 49, 40. Yeah, I think that. Oh, he made a good move. That might have been the jive that won the event. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. So there you go. Like we talked about in the past couple of races, you know, Australia um, is really just. They're at the top of the heap, really. Here, I mean, you have Japan, GBR, um, but. Man, Australia is just so good when they're on. They the Even the when they're having their 68 the uh, kilo the kilometers an hour. To win this event. Like oh, there you go. Witness, Tom Absolutely unbelievable race. So there you go. So GBR, it's going to be interesting to see in Aarhus when uh, Ainsley comes back. Um, you have to start wondering, was Sydney a one-off? Uh, when he just trashed everybody. That's not happening right now. He didn't do it when he came onto the boat. Is he going to be able to do it when he comes back onto the boat in our hoops, right? That, I think, is the real question. So there you go. Australia wins this one. France second, USA third. Uh, lead changes with all three of these in the lead. This is absolutely fantastic racing. Uh, so there you go. This is a smack out on to our hoops. Five smacks for you.